Hey guys, so Cicely has come out with a brand new lip gloss. It's called the Lafito Gloss, and they were kind enough to send me four different shades that I wanted to apply for you guys and swatch for you guys and all of that. Uh, but I thought I would just take the opportunity and do a full face of Cicely, uh, something that's appropriate for like the warmer months, something that I think is kind of sweat proof. They have two products in their line that I think is excellent for the summertime. Um, so I thought I would start with those. I am going to be putting on the Blur Expert powder. This is such an interesting powder and you guys saw me actually put out two videos about this because I use this as I normally would a powder, you know, after I put on foundation and all of that. And this was actually my introduction to the Sisley PR team. They reached out to me and said that this powder is actually, interestingly, best used underneath foundation. So I tried it that way and it was like such a game changer. And it's really been hard for me to break the habit of just putting on primer, putting on foundation, and then going in with powder. But any chance that I can remember to put powder on first, I reach for this Blur Expert powder. So we have that. And then we also have their oil-free long-lasting foundation. This is their Fito 10 Ultra Eclat foundation. And I have it in the shade 2 Soft Beige. This is the longest lasting foundation I think I have in my collection. Yeah, I think I can say that. So we're gonna be putting those on and then completing the look with other Sisley stuff. You guys know I have a lot of Sisley products. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the powder. And I do like to apply this with my Sonia G Face One brush. This powder is like a baked product. I don't know if you can get a sense of it through the camera here, but it's like this kind of like baked, it almost looks like baked clay in the pan. And so there's like literally no kick up or anything like that. But as soon as you swipe your finger across it, you pick up plenty of product. This powder also has like a little bit of coverage. I don't know if you can see that spot on my hand right there. It does have a little bit of coverage. So I do like using it underneath foundation more than on top of foundation. On top of foundation, I really prefer translucent powder. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and use my face one brush. That's about as much powder as I picked up. And I think this will be good for, yeah, for like this one cheek area. And because I'm using it kind of as a base, I don't feel like I need to make sure it's like on evenly or anything like that. I just make sure I just kind of pounce it everywhere. And you know, I do a few quick circles around it and that's it. And then I go and I grab a little bit more, do the other side. And then those few quick circles. And then the same thing with my forehead. So I'm just making sure I'm getting the powder everywhere, but again, I'm not too particular about making sure it's like on evenly or anything like that. So next I'm gonna go in with the foundation. And this foundation is on the thinner side, so you definitely want to shake it up. And I'm just gonna pump some out onto the back of my hand. I'm gonna start with two pumps. I think I'm gonna need a little bit more. I've got my BK Beauty 101 brush. And I'm just gonna start the center of my face and then just blend out. So there's something about the powder going down first that makes putting the liquid foundation on top, it just makes it really, really smooth. Like look at how smooth that looks. It's really incredible. And I have quite a bit of texture here. Uh, my skin definitely is <laughs> reacting to the hot, sweaty weather. If you guys watch my vlogs, you know that I go to Pilates. I now have to do Pilates with the face mask on. So this whole area of my face, I feel like I'm getting like little, little bumps here and there. Um, but I think that powder, like look at that. The powder down is like, whew, it has such a beautiful, smoothing, blurring effect, um, as its name suggests. And if you have a foundation that has like light coverage and maybe you want to amp up the coverage like a little bit, this powder really helps in that area too, because like I showed you, it has like a little bit of coverage on its own. So when you put something like this foundation over it, which has a pretty light uh, coverage, I feel like the coverage looks a little bit more like medium versus like a light medium when I have that powder down first. And I don't think the uh, powder necessarily changes my foundation shade, at least not for my skin tone. If you're fairer, you may, you may run the risk of it. I would just use less of the powder for sure because I think you can put down a really fine layer of that powder and it'll really do the trick. All right, 
there is the Sicily base of dreams. All right, I've got my Sicily Stilo Lumiere pen out. I have this in the shade number two, and I went really hard with this pen a couple months ago. I really, well, several months ago at this point, I really, really wanted to just finish this pen up, and I felt like I was getting close. And I just, I finally kind of gave up. I was like, it, it beat me. But I do feel like I'm kind of coming to the end of it. Oh my God, that would be amazing. Um, maybe I should keep that out and keep using that. So I just apply that around my eyes. It's like their brightening slash concealing pen. It's not really as full coverage as a full on concealer. They have a concealer that comes in a tube that is much higher coverage. But this one is more of like a brightening pen, which I like. So. I'm just gonna blend that in with the foundation brush. And in terms of powder, I don't have um, Sicily Press Powder. I only have their loose powder, and I really prefer using their loose powder, and I have it in the shade Irise number one. I really like using it as a finishing powder, so I'm gonna hold off on this and use it kind of as a last step to buff everything in. And I'm wondering, because this foundation has such a natural skin-like finish, it's not that radiant of a foundation, and it sets down fairly nicely. I'm wondering if I even need any powder. You know what, I'm gonna put a little bit of powder just on my cheeks here, just so that when I use, you know, bronzer, blush, and highlight, it's gonna blend in nicely. So let me grab a little bit of loose powder. I've got my Kogeno Natural Lighting Powder. Nothing new here. And I'm just gonna brush some right there. That's it. So next I have the Sisley uh, Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. This is the most amazing formula ever. It's like another baked gel kind of product. I've got my Sonia G Master Face Brush here, and I'm just going to pretty much put it all over. It is a warmer toned kind of bronzer, so I do like using this in the summertime, but it just glows because it really does have quite a sheen to it. And I'm just gonna take a really big brush, this is my Refer uh, 22 brush, and just bring it down here a bit. My chest is very, very pale. All right, now that that is all bronzed up, <laughs> I feel a little bit better. All right, so for blush, I thought I would use this blush stick from Sicily. This is one of their Fito blush twists. I have it in the shade number six, Passion. And this has quite a beautiful sheen to it. This kind of reminds me of the Westman Atelier Minette. This one is a little bit, it has just a touch more pink in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger, just tap that on. The formula of the Sicily 2 is a little bit more uh, powdery than the um, Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. That one is just a, like a touch more emollient So I don't have any highlight from Sicily, but I think using this as a finishing powder is gonna be lit enough. This has a lot of like little glittery particles in there. So I'm gonna leave it again for the finishing powder, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on to brows and eyes. As for brows, I have their um, brow definer pencil. It's the one that comes with a spoolie at one end, uh, a slanted tip uh, pencil at the other end and then in the middle is actually a highlighter for like the brow bone. So I'm gonna go in with the pencil. I have it in the shade Brun and it is a very, very dark brown. It's almost black and the Sicily pencil formula is very soft so you have to be careful unless you want a really bold brow. Um, you have to be very careful. So I usually reserve usage of this brow pencil for like the uh, fall winter time when I don't mind like a deep dark kind of brow. So I'm gonna try and be really careful <laughs> right now with this pencil. Oops. See, I got a little crazy right there. <laughs> then I'm just going to run this underneath my brow. And then next for eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of their Lefito Ombre eyeshadows. This is Glow Pearl number 40. And these shadows are stunning. They are baked gel too. They're just like their uh, bronzers, basically. Um, and this is like a really light kind of gold color. So I'm gonna go in 
with my Sony G Worker One brush. And I'm just gonna be using this shade today. I just wanna brush it all over my lid. But is that such a pretty gold wash? It's like a little sparkly, a little pearly. As for eyeliner, I have some of their Fito Coal Star liners. These are the liners that have little, like little glittery bits in there, and they actually bother my eyes. They're really beautiful, but I just, I don't know, I just don't like wearing them. I have one that is, oh, this blue color, that doesn't have the glittery bits in there, but I don't, I don't know, I don't feel like blue liner today with this look, but I have like a khaki color and a black, and they have these metallic bits in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. They have these metallic bits in there. Yeah, and here's the khaki. So can you see those glittery bits? The blue is like a smooth satin, and then these two are like glittery. So I am going to use one of these instead. This is one of their Fito Eye Twists, and I have it in the shade number four, which is like a charcoal gray. So I think that'll be nice. You can see it's just kind of has like a metallic sheen to it, but it doesn't have any um, glitter in there. So I am just going to kind of drag this and use it on my tight line area here, my upper waterline. And then just try and get it onto the waterline on my lower lash line. All right, as for mascara, I'm just gonna use what I have open. So I'm gonna curl my lashes, put on mascara, and then we will be back to play with the new lip glosses. All right, so here are the new lip glosses. Look at this packaging. Isn't it so fun? It's got that uh, like zebra stripe patterning that Cicely is so known for. And they come in two different finishes. There are six shimmery shades and four shiny shades. So they sent me two shimmery shades. I have one and four. And then two shiny shades, I have seven and nine. So we will play around with all of these. So this new formula is supposed to be really hydrating. It's supposed to boost hydration. There is macadamia oil, which is rich in omega-7s. Uh, there's shea butter, which as we know is like a great inclusive and it's just really, really, really nourishing. And then there's vitamin E acetate. There is like this water resistant extreme shine oil. And then there's mother of pearl particles in here, uh, which reflect light. So that's what kind of gives them their shimmer. All right, so here are all the shades swatched. So this is one and four, which are two of the shimmery shades. And then here is seven and nine, two of the shiny shades. So these have like a metallic, slightly frosty finish. I wanna say metallic. And then these have like little glittery bits in there. Look at that moon. That looks really pretty. And I'm so happy to report, I don't smell anything. Let me, yeah, I don't think they have any fragrance. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and start with number one, which is also called Moon. Ooh. Ooh, wow. That is nice. That is very frosty. I love it. Mm. I don't feel the glittery bits or anything. I wouldn't say they're thicker because they really have like a gloss like uh, like consistency, but there's something just kind of like denser about them once you get them on the lips. It's probably all the different oils and the shea butter. I really like this one. Okay, that one is number one, Moon. Next, I'm gonna put on number four, and I think the name of this one is Twilight. Yes, Twilight. I feel like these have just the right pigmentation, just the right amount of like sheen to them. Not too much, but like a little bit more than just like a normal gloss. All right, next we're gonna try number seven on the lips and the name of this one is Venus. So this is one of the shiny shades. The other two were one of the shimmery shades. I don't even think I showed you the applicator. So it's just a typical doe foot, like paddle shaped applicator. So here's number seven, Venus. So this doesn't have any of the micro glitters in there. This one just has like more of a metallic finish. And last but not least, we're gonna try number nine, Sunset, the sky. And again, this is a shiny shade, not a shimmery shade. Wow, 
I mean, I'm a lip gloss fiend, but these are really, really nice. You know what comes to mind now that I've played with all four? They just behave. They just behave. I don't feel like they're migrating. There's no bleeding. There's nothing like that. There's no strings or anything. I don't feel like there's the danger of them. You know how that, sometimes you get that clumpiness like towards the center of your lips? I'm not getting any of that. There's nothing on my teeth. Like they're, they're just kind of behaving. Like they're just, they're exactly where you put it. The texture isn't changing. I feel like sometimes once you have something on your lips for a while, uh, they either like melt down a little bit or they start to dry up a little bit. Very consistent. They're just really well behaved glosses. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe them, but they're great. These colors are beautiful. And I think these shiny finishes are so great for like a very natural, like if you just want to juice up your lips a little bit, these are great. And then the six shimmery shades, I think I'm gonna have to pick up more, but these shimmery shades with the glitters, these are beautiful, beautiful. I love that little like, reflective glint that the little particles give. So pretty. All right, last but not least, I almost forgot finishing powder. So I have the Sisley Loose Powder in Irise, and I am going to grab a different Sonia G Face One brush. I do have two of them. And since I use this for the Blur Expert powder, I'm gonna grab my clean one. And you know, at first I really liked how this container was designed. It has like the sifter and then it has like this flip top. I just thought it was so great, but it really kind of gets everywhere. So anyway, I'm trying to be careful here because there's a lot of powder kind of like all over. So I'm just dipping, <laughs> I'm just dipping my brush onto the puff, which has ended up with a lot of powder on it. And I'm just gonna stamp and buff. I'm buffing very gently over my cheeks because I don't know if you guys remember, I put a cream cheek product here and I don't want to move it. So I'm just like barely grazing my skin, but I do want to get some of the powder over there. There, wow. Buffed to the gods. <laughs> it really looks like really airbrushed, doesn't it? Wow. So there is my full face of Sisley with this Blur Expert powder and the Fito Tan Ultra Eclat combination is so good. And let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.